This is Clarkson. His owner was training him to be a therapy dog, but that may have ended after the five-month-old was attacked by another dog. This is how Clarkson looked a day after the July 4th attack at Paws and Pints. Oh you can see the scars left by the other dog biting down on his head. Here you go. Josh Schoenblatt says Clarkson, who is recovering, did nothing to provoke the attack. They come into the checkout counter and meet our staff right here. One of the owners of Paws and Pints says he believes they are as safe as possible, requiring vaccination records and a temperament evaluation, whether it is physical or monitored. Schoenblatt says he does not know what sent the other dog off. He just knows it all happened in a split second. What ended up happening is Clarkson just looked his head up and the two dogs were facing nose to nose for one second. And then just like an instant, that dog jumped on Clarkson, flipped him over so Clarkson was on his back, and then the dogs locked his jaw on the Clarkson's head. Our dog park is actually supervised, so we actually employ full-time folks that basically help try to keep the peace as best as possible. So. It's not a perfect system. Dogs will be dogs at the end of the day, but it's a couple extra levels of, of security. Both men say there is some inherent risk when taking your dog to a dog park. A risk Schoenblatt says he is not sure he is willing to take again. In Des Moines, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.